Hello and good morning from Te Valak. Myself and Kevin, we are heading off to the Isle of Jura and we're going to climb the Paps of Jura. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning morning and we're raring to go. Alright folks, we're on Jura now, we almost never made it here First of all, on the way here in the car, I just about hit a stag Then we got to the pier, the boat never turned up I looked at my booking and somehow I managed to book the Jura to mainland ferry quick phone call to the skipper it was a bit short with me but he really helped us out he was coming over to lag on Jura so he's dropped us off a bit further north than normal but we're here and that's what matters can he beat the brambles? I just filled our boots with uh, brambles, got one or five a day, and now we're finally set off at quarter past 11. Not as uh, early as I would have liked to have started, but it gives us about good eight hours solid daylight, so I'm hoping that's enough. That's us reached the lock in now. It took about 45 minutes to get here, and there's some nice stepping stones there just to get safe over the river. <coughs> Quick snack stop and now we're going to beast up this bad boy behind me. Thankfully it's uh, a lot drier underfoot now because the section up to the, the lock was really boggy. So we've got just under 400 meters on the clock and you've got two options you can veer off to that side and get a sort of easier angle we would take a more direct route and go right up there and along you can see two other people ahead of us that have gone that way as well so uh, and it looks good on the map Currently, two steps up, one back down. We're just hiding here in the summit shelter, get a mackerel wrap on the go as we normally do. Yeah, it's very calm. I feel a bit bad. We've just met a guy there who was, I don't know if it's crag fast, but he was finding it too steep and he couldn't go up and he couldn't go down. I suppose that kind of is crag fast. And he was hoping we were going to go back down the same way. I think and he was. <laughs> obviously, I wanted to help him out, but at the same time, we've got six hours of daylight, and we've yeah. we've got to get around these hills ourselves. So we kind of explained it and just sort of reassured him that he was all right. Don't think there's any more we can really do, I suppose. Okay, so we're heading for our next objective, which is a big bad boy over there. It looks a beast for here. But first things first, we've got this nice little ridge to head down. You can see a path there, and this big ramp here will be our route up. So let's go. Let's do it. We're just um, coming down the ridge here. It was looking awfully steep, so you come back over this way a wee bit, and there's a nice little grassy ramp that will get you off safely. Big leg. There's a funny thing to find on the mountain. So just over there is a the hazy colonsy, and then even more hazier is just Ben Moore from Mill. And these here, I believe, are old shelters built by Ordnance Survey staff when they were up here surveying. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. 
Super boss. Two down, one to go. That was a brutal descent, honestly. See him again. Got one more to do. I think we found somewhere to pitch. It's relatively sheltered. This hill here behind me. <laughs> Soslo. <laughs> this hill behind me here is taking the worst of the wind. And the occasional gust is passing through, but beggars can't be choosers. Kevin, in pursuit of perfection, he's away over there. He just seems to think there'll be something better over there, but I don't think we'll find much better than this. Sunrise tomorrow, if there's one, it's going to be roughly in the middle there. Got two of the paps there. We've got the third pap behind us. What more can you ask for, really? The water source was a bit suspect. It's a bit peaty. I'll put hairs on my chest though. Show me when he put hairs on my head though. <laughs> I tell you what, I am knackered. That wind's took out of me, plus we were up at half three this morning. And I'm feeling it now. So I'm just getting dinner ready. Oh! This was sheltered, but the wind's picking up a bit. But I don't think it'll come in much. At least I hope not. I don't know how I ever managed without this wee table. It's brilliant. Does the job like. Give us a wave, son. Like my new tent, bought another land shan. <laughs> I miss the pyramid one though, it's a bit bigger. No you didn't. Bigger porch and all that. This one I'll do for like wee stealth camps came in like we're like backpacking and stuff. And I'll keep my big pyramid one for like just just one night's away in winter and stuff. Well folks, it's just after nine o'clock. Both of us have retired to our tents and uh, you can probably hear the wind has picked up a bit but not too significantly, so I'll hopefully get a good night's sleep. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you in the morning. Good night. Good night, camper. Good morning, campers. <sighs> Despite the wind and the rain last night, I actually got a decent sleep. I think I was just that knackered. <laughs> I had the alarm set for half six for getting up for the sunrise, but poked my head out of the tent and it's not going to happen today. It's pretty cloudy out there. Anyway, our boat is at five o'clock tonight, so we've got a lot of time to kill and Jura. Yeah. Are you there, Kev? Yeah. I was waiting for you to go morning gambers as well. Other than a bit of flat grass, leave no trace has been applied. This is the life. 
breakfast al fresco. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. What a peaceful and tranquil place below the paps. Yes. These chairs we have to turn in the rocks actually. <laughs> Thank you.